I'm going to show you one more way that you can customize and this would be for meetings where you're using your camera. Now it does require an extra install so you will need to check with your IT department to make sure that it's okay that you install it or to get particular permissions but it's called Snap Camera. And so if you're doing any kind of an ad hoc meeting with anyone in a team or a channel or just a meeting in an individual chat or something that's scheduled that could be used with external people as well, you can utilize something called Snap Camera. It's a separate app. I do have it installed already. And once the Snap Camera is installed, then you can utilize different lenses. Now, if you're familiar with Snapchat, it's actually the same type of lens that you can utilize, but you can use it right in Teams. So this is the Snap Camera app and there are all different lenses and categories of lenses so I've got one on here that has a cat on my head um, but you've got cute ones character ones so there's ones that actually will um, have I don't know if it's the holidays you can do a Santa baby um, there's lions where it actually will replace your whole head with a lion Anyway, what you can do is pick a particular lens and then if you switch back to Teams, in Teams what you'll do is click your profile picture to get to the settings menu and in the settings menu you'll go to devices and in your devices you're going to go down to the camera and you're going to change the camera to snap camera. And once you've got Snap Camera, you're going to see whatever lens you chose is going to be displayed there. So now, if you were to go ahead and start a meeting, the Snap Camera will be your device. So that'll show up. Just see what people think when you show up with a lion for your meeting. And then at that point, when you start your meeting, that's your lens. Now, if you want to switch it just for an individual meeting, you can do it by clicking right here, clicking in your device settings, and then you can switch your camera right here. So you don't have to do it globally for all, everything. You can do it just in an individual meeting. If you ever end up with this being your camera and you want to switch it back, this would be the place to do it as well. So that's just kind of a fun one that I'll leave you with.